What's going on guys? Welcome to your fourth physics tutorial 1.1.4 and uh, this will be the last tutorial that we need before we can start jumping into physics. Um, last basic boring stuff that we need to learn about. What we're going to do is learn about uh, something called scientific notation. And what scientific notation allows us to do is either write really large numbers or really really small numbers um, pretty much consistently so we can look at them and process what they mean very easily. And what I mean by that is if I was like, hey buddy, how about you go measure the weight of this atom? And you'd be like, alright, let me pull out my scale. And you throw the atom on there and you're like, it's point zero 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 zero, And you spend like almost three years of your life writing all these zeros before you're like one, two, four, eight, one. Um, and you know this would be very boring to do if you had to write out like an addition problem of atoms and you're writing all these zeros wasting your time what scientific notation would do would be something like 0 0.12481 times 10 to the negative like 23rd something like that so this is what scientific notation looks like now let's jump into what it is and uh, how we write it and all that good stuff so um, like the previous example uh, if we had like point zero 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 uh, four zeros two four seven something like that what we're gonna do is we're gonna convert this into a scientific notation form and we can count the number of zeros before we get to the decimal place that we want right here so we're just gonna say one two three four five and since it's less than one we're gonna know that our ten is to the negative fifth power uh, now what we want to do is we want to have this number in our equation as well so we're just going to take our 2.47 um, and there is our number now nicely written and the nice thing about scientific notation is when we were talking about significant figures we can tell how many significant figures there is already um, just by looking at this right here as you can see we have three significant figures 2.47 thing about scientific notation is there is kind of a standard when we write our scientific number here I don't know if it's scientific number I call it all numbers scientific um, so we'll just roll with it uh, we want this number to be anywhere from 0 to 10 so we wouldn't want to have uh, a number like 11.7 times 10 to the fifth something like that because again our scientific number needs to be 0 through 10 so all we're gonna do is we're gonna move this decimal place here and rewrite it as 1.17 times 10 to the sixth. Now what these positive numbers are is that the number is larger than one. When it's a negative, it means it's a decimal place. It's less than one. We have zeros. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this number here because they're both essentially the same number and we're going to work with that real quickly. What we want to look at is this first number here, our 1.17. I'm just going to put a, a light point there. Can't even really see it but uh, 1.17 and now we need to factor in this 10 to the 6th power and since it's to the 6th power what we're going to do is we're going to move our decimal place 6 places over so we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and here's where our decimal place is and we just fill in everything else with the zeros so what we get is actually 1,170,000 uh, um, that's what this number is same with this number if you guys just want practice we're going to put our 11.7 and take that times 10 to the fifth so we have five places we need to move our decimal place one two three four five um, put our decimal place there and then fill in the zeros and as you see it's the exact same number uh, 1,170,000 but again we want to write our scientific notation so it's a number between 0 and 10 here um, or actually we want to have one whole number and then our decimal places here um, so hopefully that kind of explains what scientific notation is I know it's kind of a, just a real general tutorial but that's the last thing that we need to know before we start jumping into the physics and all the formulas we're going to be using all that good stuff so I will catch you guys later and have a good one And uh, scientific notation is the, kind of the general notation that you'd uh, want to use in science. <laughs> 